So yesterday morning, my buddy and I went for a lobster dive, uh, semi-locally here, and <laughs> I, when I talked to him and planned to dive, I was like, well, you know, I need to do boat work, but it'll be perfect if we dive kind of near where the boat is, we can dive and we wouldn't even have to take off our wetsuits and we could just go clean the boat and uh <laughs> I wasn't very subtle about it uh <laughs> asking him to come help me do it but nonetheless he came and helped me uh so we went on a dive we ended up coming over here and um when we're wheeling our gear up to the dock the tank on my buddy's uh dolly fell over and when he reached out to catch it, he dislocated his shoulder. So, after he gets it, pops back in, and we wheel all his stuff in. He's like, "Dude, I'm I'm sorry, I can't I can't help you dive." So, it's like, "Well, I got the two tanks here. I'll just do it." So I geared up. I hopped in by myself, and right as I'm hopping in, he's like, "I think I'm feeling a little better. I'm gonna try and." do it so he started putting his gear on and eventually joins me I ended up cleaning like two out of the three holes by myself and um, worked out um, I got a little bit of footage my housing that I like to use ended up flooding the uh, I didn't realize that the uh, the little silicone ring on it was a uh, kind of like inside the camera so it uh it ended up flooding i still had the gopro on the octomask so i ended up using that Brittany was here she ended up 
I think she sanded a little bit more, and she said that she cleaned, like, really cleaned uh, a couple of the sections. So, you know, I was really dying to paint. I really want to see something brand new white on this boat already. Uh, but I think in order to save paint... I think I'm just going to go and primer more of the parts that we've already sanded and cleaned. And then uh, maybe go at it up like a bunch of sections at the same time with the actual paint. So trying to conserve that stuff a little bit. Um, I think I'm deciding not to go with the fiberglass. I don't know. I... One of my buddies is saying yes, he thinks I should do it because that's how fishing boats are built. It's wood sandwiched uh, between fiberglass layers. Uh, people online are saying don't do it because if you get an uh, air pocket or there's water in there, it's going to just make it worse and you're not going to be able to see it. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do we do? Do we fiberglass the inside too? Or do we just clear coat it so that you could see the bare wood and then panel over it? Or do we paint it all with bilge coat? Yes, I don't know. I'm not sure yet how we want to do this. Decision's hard. Alright, so... I'm using this inner prime wood sealer, which it said I should use on before the bilge coat. So I got it. This stuff is so expensive. Um, but when you read this thing, it then says that for bare plywood, plywood must be sealed before painting, if soft porous, blah, blah, blah. Sand with 180 to 220 grit sandpaper. Saturate until it takes on a glossy appearance. So when I was painting the bilge, you could tell it it like really takes on a glossy appearance. It says apply coats of sealer until gloss is obtained. Lightly sand between coats with 220 grit sandpaper. If you look at the bilge area, I painted this and there are spots that look like they've taken on kind of a glossy look, but the whole thing does not look like it's taken on a glossy look. Um, maybe a little bit more inside here. So it kind of looks like it did a little bit better in there, but it's... Uh, do I put a second coat on there? Look, you can see it. It did pretty well on that piece. Alright. So... You can distinctly see where I ran out of product. So, I think it did pretty well up here. I'm not going to do a second coat. I'm just going to continue on where I left off. And I'm going to do as much of these as I can. And come back here and work my way back. So, I bought two cans of those of that 1026, um, and we'll see how far we get with it. So, I think I'm going to recoat the bilge. I just want to do it right, you know, just do it right the first time, or do it twice, so... All right, so one thing you'll notice is this stuff is really, really liquidy. Um, I kind of just like slathered it on and then spread it out. 
It, it's not like thick paint that it only goes where you brush it or like you thin it out. It's better just like slap it on and spread it. So um, you'll you'll kind of see what I mean. <laughs> 